Hello, my name is Carla Bisong, owner of Bisong Art Gallery, located in downtown Houston, Texas. Hi, I'm Zara. I'm a Houston-based artist, and I'm a resident um, artist at Bisong Art Gallery. Yes. And today, Zara and I were having a conversation, and we realized a lot of artists have asked us, how do you find art collectors? And so we just wanted to have a chat and share it with you. Um, a few experiences that we've had when we have had art collectors purchase art and to take a little bit of the mystery behind it. So Zara, recently we had an amazing art crawl this past Saturday. Definitely. It's a yearly event that happens Definitely. in Houston, Texas, uh, this Saturday before Thanksgiving. And please share with, with us the experience of a substantial piece that you sold and how did that happen? So this past art crawl made me realize that um, the more you share yourself, the more you put yourself out there, the better people understand you, the better people want to take your work with them home. And uh, the painting that I sold was about truck art, and the guy that bought it made a connection with it a very different way. We started talking about how I came about in being inspired by truck art, being from Pakistan and being grown up around it, that was the first thing that inspired me to start painting. And um, he was from Sicily, his grandfather was from Sicily. He has never been to Sicily or Pakistan, but he's been to Africa. Mm -hmm. And in Africa, they also do, Nigeria specifically, they also do truck art. Nobody knows about it. So all those connections made, made him feel that it was some part of him that he was taking with him. And that made him feel even more connected. Obviously, when you look at it, if you feel the love for it, you want to know more about a painting. Right. And if you really get connected to it, then you don't want to leave it there and you want to take it with you. And I think that's how I found out that um, the more I put myself out there, the better chances of somebody wanting to uh, take a piece of me with them. And that's what Art Call made me realize this time around that um, even with the prints, the people that couldn't uh, afford high dollar, they still wanted to take and support artists by just buying the prints itself. So, and that's always a good way to start becoming a collector because once you have a print, that makes you feel like, hey, now I have enough courage to go buy uh, an original piece maybe too. And then you had a lot of people that didn't want to buy prints that wanted to know how much was the original and they will come back for the original itself. Right. So you get all kinds of feedbacks when you put yourself out there. Yes. It also tells you about what people want to know from you, about you as an artist. And that's what I learned from this experience that um, just talking about yourself helps. Yes. And uh, as a curator, Carla, I always thought like, how do you pinpoint people? Because you have a different kind of a, because I, I'm talking about my work. How are you finding out that if somebody wants to collect art or mm -hmm. what kind of art will attract them? Sure. So um, having ongoing exhibitions, we make sure at minimum uh, two months in advance, we want to promote the art exhibition coming up, promote the artist, do videos similar to this so that anyone interested could see into the personality of the artist, have somewhat of an idea of what the art show is about because it's very different to see the work but then not truly, or read a description, and then not truly still understand what they're going to encounter. So as my job as a curator, art gallery owner, I want to educate the masses on what the artwork is all about and as much as possible about the artist. But finding art collectors, I want to let new artists know there's no magic formula. There is no master list that you can buy from someone and then say, okay, these are all the art collectors that I'm going to start emailing and showing them my work and then magically they're gonna start collecting your art. Because sometimes we've had in our gallery people to buy art and start their collection that have never purchased an original piece from an artist before in their right. life. And we've also had um, guests come in that are uh, established art collectors and they already have a massive collection that they're adding to it. So I want everyone to take away, continue to be out there. No one's gonna knock down your door, your studio door, and just say, we're ready to buy your art if they don't know what you're doing and if you're not communicating what's going on. An experience when we first opened our gallery, I didn't think of having private events. I thought I was just gonna have an art gallery and sell art and let people come in, but I realized 
it's a great idea to open up the space for private events. So it may have been our first year in business back in uh, 2014, and we had a corporate cocktail party, and one of the guests, the employees of this uh, corporate office, saw the artwork on the wall and said, hey, is everything in here for sale? They weren't quite sure if we were a gallery or a small museum, you know, how that worked, but I'm glad I was there to be able to tell them, yes, everything <laughs> in here is for sale. Thank you very much for your interest. Can I answer any other questions? And they loved it. And at the end of the night, after the uh, corporate cocktail party, they purchased the piece. And I want to say the many six years that I've been a gallerist, um, I have had art collectors from every background, age group, cultural, um, income bracket. There are truly people that will appreciate and love a great work of art. And um, there's no stereotypes behind that, no, which I love. No, definitely not. Yeah, because which I love. even with, like, you were asking how to get commissioned work, yes. um, a lot of people, they can't sometimes afford the artwork itself, but yes. they can afford an artist to come in there space and do something custom for themselves yes. and i think i just to have an artist be there in their space and have work by a local person that they know mm -hmm. that they interacted with them i think it's now coming back in fashion almost yes right yeah like, yeah so how the how did you connect with people to come into their home to commission arts how did that so i think work? me uh, being an artist it was always hard for me to sell myself in a way because we are not entrepreneurs we are just artists like mm -hmm. I, I feel like that's like i'm speaking for a lot of people yes but um interior designers are very good at that and me connecting with an interior designer was the first step towards finding my work okay. first i obviously became an assistant to an artist that was my first thing after college was to become an assistant to an artist to learn how do they find other people and then that artist told me how to find interior designers right. that want to use my skills as an artist because there's so many people that want artwork by an original artist in their home but necessarily not in their art style but just in the style of a designer mm -hmm. and I think as an artist, it's always good to have, uh, I don't want a desk job, I still want to use my skills, so to be able to get commissioned work that is it that satisfies the homeowner. It's basically customer service in a way. So it makes me happy that I'm able to give them my skill, mm -hmm. leave something of me with them, and then enjoy that for a long, long time. And interior design has always been the way I got into that kind of commissioned work. Sure. So I think that is, but to be able to sell your own work is obviously the best part about it too, right. you know, because you get to know people and you get to refine your skills too in that way too. So mm -hmm. for a lot of artists that do um, portraits and stuff, that's also always a good way to get commissioned work sure. too. But putting yourself out there is the only way to get more work. The more people know about you, if you pick up a list of designers, interior designers in your area, and you just email them that day, that tells them that you are around. Maybe they don't need you today. Maybe they'll need you in a month. You know, maybe someday they'll need you someday. But just putting yourself out there, I think, is the main thing that all artists need to understand that mm -hmm. you being in a space and just knowing the people that love you is not the way to make yourself into a professional artist. I feel like that's the sure. tips that you would like to give people from um, all the collective years of you uh, being a curator mm -hmm. and uh, being um, meeting all these different kinds of people that buy art. Uh, what would you tell artists that how do you, you know, some sure. few tips? You so a few tips that I have personally known about meeting art collectors anywhere and everywhere. Um, I'm try to stay always prepared. So I try to keep. Um, other than just saying, hey, come look at my Instagram, keep a nice uh, list of images of some of your work on your phone or something you can easily show. Even when, if you don't have an artist website, have something easily accessible because 
we like to assume that everyone has Facebook and everyone has Instagram and some people just don't. That's true. And so have an easy way for people to see your work, be prepared to talk about your work, be prepared to even something as simple as telling people you're an artist. Many artists are artists, but maybe they have a day job and they will leave with, you know, well, what do you do for a living? And just saying the words, I'm an artist. I would shy away from just letting that be a blanket statement. You can say, I have created many murals or I like to create these type of pieces that are X, Y, and Z. Just make sure it's extremely um, explaining so that people can understand because we all have different ideas and images of what an artist is. So always be prepared to talk about your art because you never know who would be interested. And if they are interested, be prepared to show your work. So always be detailed about your stuff and uh, mm -hmm. and not shy away. Yes. From being yourself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I've met a few artists that have even said that even though I'm an artist, but I have a day job, I find myself consistently saying, "Oh, well, you know, this is what I do for a living," and it leans more toward the day job. Right. But that's not your passion. That might pay the bills while you're getting things because started. Because we all got to pay bills. We all have to pay bills. <laughs> um, but make sure if you're looking for someone to buy art, then you're going to promote your art. You're not promoting your day job. Yeah, I think it's good to yeah. look in the mirror and say, I'm an artist. Yes, I am an artist <laughs> and I am an artist creating X, Y, and Z. And make sure you feel comfortable saying it because if you have to, uh, I kind of do this, I kind of do that and very insecure about saying it, well then, why would someone want to invest in your work and they're not sure if you're really phenomenal at what that's, you do? That's the reality, right? You have to be confident in showing your insight for other person to accept the insight. Right. So true. So true. So um, I always will just say have confidence. Know that art collectors are everywhere. There's no master list of just art collectors that are going to like what you're making. So feel comfortable. Put yourself out there. There's so many opportunities. There's so many with live painting for um, charity, charitable events, for group exhibitions, for, like you said earlier, emailing um, interior designers. Just one K and I set up an appointment to just show you what I have done or what I can do if you've never done it before. Um, continue to keep, keep looking for op opportunities. Okay. Well, thank you for your talk. I'm sure yeah. it helps a lot because... It's helped me a lot in making sure that I am out there. Yes. If you have any further questions or you would like another topic discussed, we would love to hear from you. You can email us at info at besonggallery.com or search for us on Instagram, Besong Gallery, Besong Arts on Instagram and Facebook. And we would just love to hear your comments or feedback. And if you have any questions, shoot it to us. Thanks. Have a great day. You too.